to another Reality Check VR video. We're gonna be opening up another 3D printer today. That's right. Yeah. Of course, I do have my son here, Daniel. He's gonna help me with this unboxing, and we're gonna check out the new real M18S 3D printer. This is basically a printer that is ready to go. There are not very many parts that I have to put together. So luckily it's gonna be a quick build. The main thing we're gonna focus on here is how good are the prints just right off the bat. And uh, of course, what is the size of that? So what kind of things can we print with this printer? And, and is it a printer that you're gonna to wanna to look at for yourself? So I'm gonna go ahead and answer those questions. And, uh, and Daniel's super excited and so am I. Let's go. Okay, so it has been a few weeks since I first got this new real T-Rex 3D printer and I do have to say I have been very happy with it. As you can see the menu is not only easy to read but easy to get through. It's got options for pretty much every single thing that you want to do. If you're used to 3D printing you're going to find a lot of familiar things here as, as well as a few extras uh, including the wireless module which allows you to hook it up of course to uh, a wireless system in case you want to be printing from your computer and not have to go all the way to your printer with the memory card every single time. Uh, Anyway, the printer itself does have a lot of key features, which I want to run through really quickly. And those key features are, of course, filament detection. It does know when your filament runs out, so it's not going to keep printing in air, which is always nice and useful. Plus, it does have an integrated nozzle, which allows it to print a little bit easier. The filament goes in without having much of a resistance at all. And you can, you can tell when you've used other printers in the past that there's uh, opportunities for a lot of clogging, and this just does not have that at all. It does print TPU, PLA, ABS, PETG, wooden filaments, and more, so you don't have to worry about the types of filament that this thing can run. It also is very fast with the opportunity to go up to 300 millimeters per second with a direct drive extruder, which is one of my favorite little pieces right there. So here we're going to show a few different things that I printed with the printer, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, I, I am very happy with this printer overall, as I did say. The connections are just beautiful, uh, and of course, it's very easy to get leveled. As you noticed previously there in the video, I kind of level it as I'm doing my first print just to make sure it's exactly where I want it to be and there was absolutely no problems with that. One of the first things I started printing, I was using the filament inside the printer and the filament was not good. So you can see here in the video, the filament's having a little bit of breaking up issues. And I actually fixed that simply by changing the filament. Another thing you might notice here is the prints are a little off-center, and that is actually because I put the wrong size into my printing software at the beginning. The printing size of this printer is 310 by 310 by 400 millimeters high on the build volume. I had had it in the 280s for some reason, and that of course caused everything to be a little off-center. It didn't affect the way that the printer actually printed the prints, uh, but I did realize that a little late. Another great thing about this printer, it is very, very quiet. You can barely hear this thing when it's running except for the fans that it's got going. The actual motors themselves are extremely quiet and they don't have that annoying whir or whirl that you kind of hear, uh, that high-pitched annoying frequency that can kind of come off of them. It doesn't exist with this printer, I can say that much. Uh, one thing I, you can tell some, from some of the prints is that uh, the layers don't look too good. And another thing I found out, of course, is I needed to tighten one of the screws on the printer 
to get the actual nozzle from moving a little bit. So some of these early prints were a little off and that's what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys exactly how this printer worked right from just opening it without all these little tweaks. Of course, after you do the tweaks, after you make these little adjustments, the printer is going to be even better for you. But as you can see, somebody who's never used one before can very easily put this printer together and get it printing things that look just like this without any adjustments. And of course, if you need to make those adjustments, we've got other videos here on YouTube that you can check out. And there's a lot of other awesome people that have made some cool videos. Check those out. Thanks for watching the video. See you guys next time. Yeah, and if you were wondering, the box does become a house, a boat, whatever you think uh, with your imagination. Maybe even a spacecraft, possibly. What do you think, buddy? Alright, here we go. One, two, three!